you guys. Hey, you guys. This is breaking news. I thought, like, I really have to. Hi, I'm Kathy. Welcome to my channel. I really, I thought I'd get right here and tell you guys this. Ipsy is buying BoxyCharm. Ipsy's buying BoxyCharm. I'm like, I am shook. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Let's go read about this right now. Makeup box startup Ipsy acquires competitor BoxyCharm. October 30th, 2020. Are you reading this? Combined company will generate $1 billion in next revenue. And the company will go public in the next 18 months. Two of the top beauty product subscription boxes are merging. Ipsy has agreed to buy rival BoxyCharm, a pairing that will create a combined business with more than 4.3 million subscribers and 1 billion in revenue this year, according to the company. Ipsy and J BoxyCharm will operate as separate brands in a merged company called F BFA Industry, short form for Beauty for All. The combined company could go public in the next 18 months, said Ipsy executive chef Mar Marcelo sorry if I'm butchering your name, will lead the new company. Management will also look for more acquisitions in the subscription commerce sector. For us, it's really about creating an undisputed leader in subscription. They don't want to be subpar. Ipsy knew that BoxyCharm was taking over the business and they must have offered Joe a, a good amount of money for this, man. Subscription boxing services took off in the 2010s as startups and major retailers sought to tap into the subscription box craze in which consumers sign up for regular deliveries of grab bags from anything from snacks to dog toys to shaving kits. Coming together will help Ipsy and BoxyCharm boost their share of the broader beauty subscription market. Ipsy's not available in Canada other than the one day. So BoxyCharm is. This is going to... I'm wow. I'm I'm wowed, man. You guys can read that. The merger will help both better navigate uncertain market. Makeup sales are slipping while skincare is offsets a dip in the makeup sales. Ipsy was founded in 2011 by YouTube celebrity Michelle Fan. I never knew that. Use social media influencers to attract new members when the trend began. The business backed by investment firms surpassed 500 million in revenue last year and it's profitable according to Cambros. Ipsy was valued at 800 million in a funding round five years ago and has raised a hundred million to date. Joe Martin, Boxy Charms founder, will join the board of the new company and lead, continue to lead the brand. The merged company will also launch a new personal care subscription services called Refreshments in a new couple weeks. Wow, 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 man. Wow. Which is better, Boxy Charm or Ipsy? Boxy charm. Ipsy knows this. Ipsy knows this. That was a smart move for Ipsy. The smartest move, I think. Mick Boxy charm was slamming Ipsy. Everybody said the Boxy charm is the right way to go. Ipsy's good for if you like affordable 12 bucks and you can get samples and maybe a full size product. BoxyCharm 25 bucks and you get high end full size items every month delivered right to your door plus add-ons plus pop-up shops develop available to Canada, US and other places. They're planning on going international soon. I've heard
So there you go, guys. There you go, guys. I don't know if you're as shocked as I am about this. Ipsy bought BoxyCharm. Ipsy bought BoxyCharm. I don't, what will 2020 else bring? This has been a shocking, overwhelming, amazing year that has just, it's brought so much wonder and fascination. What will 2020 bring next? We're in November. There can't be much more. Can there be? Oh my God. What will come next? Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Bringing you breaking news. Love yous all so much. Please hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, so you never, never miss a video from me. Thank you, and I will talk to you in my next one.